Hello everybody, this is the Akiba, your book granny here with an unboxing. Oh yeah, today we have a Luma Crate. This looks like my monthly box here for the box boxes. You know the big box, not books only. I get a Luma Crate and Fairy Crate. They're both YA with a bunch of little things in there each month. So that's pretty nice. I like it, I like it. I already cut the tape off. So let's get this started. This is doo -doo 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 -doo, June 2024. I will fly. All right. Okay, this is probably a cheat sheet and newsletter and everything. So we'll just set this right here. I will fly as a thing. We're going to get these little um, sprigly legalies out there. And we can get started, huh? Goodness, more than I thought. <gasps> And at the top, of course, we have an enamel pin, which makes me very happy because I love the pins. Let's see, inspired by the Water Outlaws by S.L. Hong. So you see that? Let me open it up for you. I love enamel pins, as you know. Well, many of you know, if you've seen me before, I do love them a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Here you go. That is nice. Yes, it's nice. Got a little uh, a dagger going through there. I haven't read this before, so we shall see. That's nice, though. But that's water. Did I say water? Let me the name of this. The Water Outlaws. Okay. I will fly. Maybe they're going to fly out the water. But on this picture, I will say that's waves down there. That don't look like nothing about no flying unless they plan on flying out the water. I'm just saying. It looks more like ocean. Maybe it should be I will swim. I'm just going off the cuff, you know, I don't know. Okay, up next, let's see what this little bad puppy is. Singing Hills, okay. Mechanical pencils, all right. I do like a good pencil, but for mechanical pencils, I like that point nine lead. I don't like that real thin lead. I, I write too hard, I've been done broke that mess up. <laughs> I have nothing done, y'all. I need some thick leads. I'm just gonna break easily. I'm, this is a nice case it's in though, in the trash. That's a nice case. Who is this inspired by? Let me see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Mechanical pencil, blah, 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 blah. Empress of Salt and Fortune. All right. Empress of Salt and Fortune. Oh, these are pretty. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Let me get them out of plastic for you. Okay. These are real pretty. Plastic and I are not friends. Okay, here we go. Very cute. That's nice. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna have to check, to check out this lid though once I get a closer look at it. There you go. There we go. Okay, that's nice because I actually write by hand, so that's nice. That's a good one. That's a good one. And this box that they put it in, this is a good quality box. That's a nice quality. And this is the same design as on the pencils. So that's a good one. Ooh, my neck itch. I got the itchy neck, y'all. Got the itchy neck. Uh, metal bookmarks. I haven't seen metal bookmarks in a while. So I'm sometime last year, but yeah. I actually don't use the metal ones, but that's okay. That's all right. Ooh, this one is so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is lovely. Yeah, that's real nice. Let's see. I can't see. That's too small. Let's say dream the dreamer or something. Yeah, I can't see that. It's too small and my eyes are too bad to see that. But that is pretty. Let's see. I should quit trying to see this. The book, but the Bone Shard Daughter. Okay, by Andrea Stewart. Okay. The Bone Shard Daughter. All right, here we go, Andrea Stewart. Let's see. Up next. Oh, another thing to hold your cards in, perhaps. Um, I forgot who gave us one before, but they gave us a um, nice little album that you can put your um, your art cards in. I didn't put my art cards in because I like to keep the art card with the book. But I've been thinking maybe I should just switch them over and put them inside the little case. That'd be nice if this is a second case. Yeah, if I could use that for this. Look at this. One of the reasons I didn't put my art cards in there because I was thinking about framing them, which I never did, as you see. But... I think I will. I do want to frame my art because I got to measure them, but they're not all the same size. So, yeah, who did this? Let me see. This is pretty. Well, I'm looking at it. I'm not giving y'all a look. I know what it means to dream about the past, to dream about things you have loved and lost. Oh, Natasha Nyan. 
That's pretty though. I like the way it looks. Give you a side. Kind of close to the thing. That's not either too close or too far away. No, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, set that down. Okay, up last we have the book itself. All right, put that on the floor. Uh oh, it's in plastic. Let me get out of plastic. And I'll be right back. Okay, I am back of Jade and Dragons by Amber Chen. This is a pretty book and it's nice. It feels solid. <laughs> that's a nice book there. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's nice. That is real nice. Is he going all the way around? Let me see. So it's like his body goes up and then you see the rest of it down there. That's kind of cool. I kind of like, you know, I like wraparound covers. Okay, let me show you the big money shot. There you go. That's nice edging Luma crate. Go on with your little bad selves. And it goes good with the cover. That's nice. And yes, I do always love it with dragon. Let me think of any cover I've liked to have dragon on that I didn't like. Mm, I don't really like those cartoonish looking dragons too much. But, um... These aren't usually that, so I haven't had that problem. Okay, let's look at the inside of the book. Um, nope, there's no alternative cover, so let me say him there. Oh, this is beautiful. I hope y'all can see that. Can you see the dragon up there? That is a lovely book. Okay, turn to the spine. I like that it's, there's so many light shades of green. That is, that's nice. I really like that a lot makes you really look and this moon or whatever that is behind it oh i just love it that it's really amazing i am very happy with the artwork on this whoever did this did that dang thing y'all mm, mm, mm. yes they did okay let's go from the front to the side there we go it's beautiful beautiful Okay, let me open her up. Okay, let me get to the back. I guess these are characters from the book. Ooh, this is pretty. I like the back one. I like how this is going all there. That's real nice. I like that. That is pretty. Yeah, I'm a scenery type gal. Give me my scenery, y'all. Give me my scenery. It makes me happy. <laughs> There we go. Her signature's down there. Okay. Let's see. Is there all the letter over here? Maybe it's in a few pages. There we go. Ooh, she had a lot to say. She had to put it in two pages. <laughs> 18 year old Ahai Ying dreams of becoming a world class engineer like her father. But after his sudden murder, her life falls apart. Left with only a journal of her father's engineering secrets and a jade pendant snatched from the assassin, the heartbroken Ying follows the trail to the capital and a prestigious engineer's guild, a place that harbors her father's hidden past. Determined to discover why anyone would threaten a man who ultimately chose quiet life over fame and fortune. Disguised as her brother, Ying manages to infiltrate the guild's male-only apprenticeship trial with the help of an unlikely ally, a Yigiya Yiyang, the taciturn eighth prince of the high command. With her father's renown placing a target firmly on her back, Ying must stay one step ahead of her fellow competitors, the jealous guild masters, and the killer still hunting for her father's journal. Complicating everything is her increasingly tangled relationship with the prince, who may have mysterious plans of his own. Don't forget that we are reading Principal Moments by Asimi Jakimi Pearson, bum, 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 bum. and we are discussing it the second week of July, 2024. So go on, grin out there, go grab this book and read it. It's a good one. And for our monthly read, you can give a suggestion. Well, not monthly. For our group read, you can give a suggestion for the TBR jar if you haven't already given a suggestion. I'll pull it out when it's time for us to uh, discuss 
our uh, group read. Okay, so that is it. Oh, no horror, please. Uh -uh, we can skip that mess, okay? So anyway, that is it. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.